welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while it's been a while happy new year i hope your 2019 so far is amazing i can't even remember the last time i, I, I filmed a sit down video i think the last video it was that emotional no it was my fashion haul i don't know how many months ago that was but this is a new year we're doing new things this year like filming get ready with me videos as you can see from the title <laughs> Yeah, this is so awkward because you guys have never actually filmed a um, get ready with me video before. So I don't know how I'm gonna like put on makeup and talk at the same time, but we're gonna do it somehow. So yeah, anyway, I've just moisturized my face and cleansed it um, using this uh, facial soap from Clinique. I've been using it lately and it's just been doing wonders for my skin. And this was just like a sample. So I honestly don't know what I'm going to do when it finishes because I currently cannot afford clinic products. And it was a sample from my mom. So yeah, I've been using this and then for my moisturizer, I've been using shea butter like always. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with the foundation. So usually I use Bobbi Brown, my stick foundation, but I want to try something new. You know, this year I really want to challenge myself to try out new things, by the way. Yeah, so I'm going to try out this Revlon. I really hope it's my shade. But, yeah, we'll just see how things go. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows. So now I'm just going to apply the foundation. So, yeah, what did you guys do for Christmas and New Year's? Um, I know a lot of Kenyans or Africans. Oh, God, this is just so messy. What am I doing? Okay. I've never used a liquid foundation before, by the way. I always use like a stick foundation. Or, this is so messy. <laughs> or a matte. You know, so I know a lot of like Africans usually like travel to the village for New Year's. So did you guys do that? Did you guys go to coast? Did you guys go abroad? Uh, I, I hope you spent time with family or your loved ones if you did anything cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was just in Nairobi uh, for the whole festive period, basically. So we didn't travel up country. Usually we would travel to the village, like from the 26th to the like 30th, around there. But this time, we refused. Okay, I'm trying to look for... Yeah, this is so confusing. So I just realized the previous clip was not in focus. This is going to take a while, guys. So please just bear with me. <laughs> but anyway uh yeah so we didn't travel up country this time because we we refused to go i can't think i put too much foundation <laughs> we refused to go so my dad went alone and we refused to go because last year oh my goodness last year so we went last year to the village and it, we just had like the craziest experience ever with my sisters who are just like never 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 again are we gonna go <laughs> to shags during the festive period so what happened last year? Last year my mom refused to go shags. So she stayed in Nairobi with my baby sister Bakita. And then my me and my two other sisters went with my dad to shags on the 26th of December. So yeah, uh, we travel on the 26th. We get there. Um, and one of the reasons we don't like going to shags is because for us shags is not fun. Like I, I know a lot of people say, Ati, oh my goodness, why don't you like going home? Like I'm into shago. Like, the village is so much fun. No, for us, it's not fun. Like, us guys just go to the village to do, like, manual labor. Like, proper housework, you know, cooking, cleaning for old men who are just sitting around, drinking, eating, lounging, talking, laughing, and doing nothing while all the women slave away in the kitchen. Like, that's not my definition of a holiday. So, that's why I don't like going shag. So, anyway, this time, we're just like, you know what, fine. We'll just go on the 26th, and then we'll come back before New Year. So, we're supposed to travel back on the 30th of december so my dad wanted to stay in uh, the village until like past new years like maybe second or something and us guys were just like there's no way there's no way so my dad had arranged for us to like be driven back to nairobi by one of his like relatives who like yeah has a car or something and drives people to and from Nairobi to the village and stuff. So he had already talked to this guy called Omondi before we left for the village. So at least us guys, we knew that our plan is set. Yeah. 
So on now like the 29th or 28th, we ask my, no 29th, we tell my dad to confirm with him only, like if he's still coming and stuff. Because ask us, did he like packed our bags? We were so ready to leave. <laughs> but it wasn't even like we had a bad time in Shags. Like we actually did like cool things. Like we went to visit my dad's farm because he has like a vegetable farm. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I literally I'm like paddling my legs. Okay. So you guys we found a stream of cold water. Our oh, feet were burning because this heat is insane. Exactly. So this water is like I think it's even like twenty degrees. Can you step in the water? Hey man, I'm not trying to make my feet dirtier than they are already. It's, it's a bit deep. It's deep? Yeah, I guess it's deep. And it's really cold. We went to, we crossed the border um, to Uganda. You know the Busia-Uganda border? We crossed it. That was like my first time in Uganda ever. I can't even believe I've never been to Uganda. And I have so many Ugandan friends and Uganda is our neighboring country. You know, this year I need to change. I need to change my ways. Hey guys, let me just give you an update. We are now in Busia and at the border of Kenya and Uganda. And we are just about to walk into Uganda. And it's gonna be my first time in Uganda, so I'm really, really excited. So we're just having ice cream um, outside the supermarket while we wait for a day to buy something. And then we're gonna go into Uganda. I'm so excited. People are looking at me like I'm so strange. But... So, anyway. Uh, yeah, we did like cool things, but then when 30th, when 29th came, I was just like, okay, it's time to leave. So now when my dad calls this Omondi guy, uh, okay, first of all, how do you guys think this foundation looks? I think I actually like it. And I think it's actually my color. I hope I've blended properly. I hope I've blended properly. So as I was saying, uh, so now that my dad calls this guy and he asks him like i hope you're in the you hope you're in nyanza and uh, like the county up in the county and i hope you're ready to like um take my daughters back to nairobi tomorrow and then this guy t this time is probably like in the evening you guys know it's like 29th in the evening vibes and we're supposed to live on the third safe in the morning and then this umundi guy tells my dad that he should really, he's in nairobi because he wanted to pick up more people you know because he, he people pay him like for that like it's like a sort of taxi service um so he was in nairobi and he was getting clients to transport back to the village now at night so meaning he was gonna drive during the night and then rest and then pick us in the morning i don't know how that was gonna work but that was what he told my dad so I asked us, so just like, hey this is a bit dodgy like why couldn't he have planned better because ask us told him in advance he could have maybe transported those guys during the day and then chilled in the evening or something but anyway we're like okay you know what whatever happens we're going back to nairobi tomorrow so the next morning my dad calls him obviously okay guys i'm supposed to do my makeup so i don't know which eyeshadow to use i think i'm gonna use like a blue and a gold to complement what i'm wearing um so let's see i have the only eyeshadow i have are the sleek palettes i actually need to get myself Actually, but no, I think I have enough eyeshadow, to be honest. So, I have those colors. I don't know if I've shown you guys properly. So, I'm probably going to use maybe the blue. These two blues. Or these three blues. And then, um, I have another nice gold palette. And then, maybe some of these golds yeah so anyway as i was saying um what did i say yeah so my dad calls this guy in the morning and this guy is just like a tea he's still no he's too tired because apparently he drove all night long because there was so much traffic and he's too tired and he doesn't think it's safe for him to drive us in case he sleeps on the wheel so which is a good thing like it's good he actually told my dad in case like we got into an accident and in case he decided to just drive us and then we got into an accident you know but we're just like, what the actual hell? This is 30th. We're just like, we are not um, spending New Year's in Ushago. So now, that at that moment, my dad starts calling like, um, 
this bus stations like trying to get for us like an easy coach to nairobi because those guys were like whatever means of transport we are going uh all the, all the buses are full like we tried like so many different buses like even those kind of shady ones we tried all of them were full until like second i was just like what the hell no ways and my sister even had plans. i think my sister even made plans so she was just like there's no way me already paid for Siju. what i'm not staying in ushago so uh, my dad like told us okay fine get into my car let's go look for transport for you guys hey guys so we're leaving today um oh wow, my dad's car is so dirty so we're not even that sure how we are leaving because my dad is staying but as guys we want to go back to nairobi for new year's eve so we're really just going to tr go to kisumu and try and find transport <laughs> so yeah so we're like driving because not okay our village is not like that close to kisumu which is like uh the main city those sides it's like a two i think one or two hour drive from kisumu our our shags so uh we now were just now like driving through asking people if there's any kind of transport no people are like no so then my dad decides to <laughs> guys to put us in our matatu as in by this time we were stranded in this and we we're like we are not gonna spend new years in shags and this time you know we had come back with okay for me especially me had come with like bags be a big bag because i knew like a, you know like a, a small suitcase for like pulling because me i knew i was gonna be in a car the whole way so i'd come with like that bag i'd come with my laptop i'd come with my camera stand to do my camera because me i'd been shooting content you know village content dude so now we had to like my dad put us in a matter to me and my two sisters from all the way to the village to kisumu and you know usually if you're in a car it takes like one to two hours with a mat when it's stopping all the time and for those if you're watching from cape town or south africa by a matatu i mean like a public taxi like you know those wine bag taxis like that and we're just like oh, what the hell so they are stopping so much so imagine like from all the way from our shags to the village that was like so so crazy so so crazy we got to kisumu at like past it was afternoon vibes and we we're just like what the hell i think it was maybe like midday or one and then you now he told us that from kisumu there's this place um called the national oil it's called a national oil petrol station next to this place called and then i think there's a taxi service called something like sampa and now next to that petrol station there's like a taxi service where you'll find many different taxis like cabs that transport people from kisumu to nairobi so I, but this time by the way we've never been to kisumu like alone or like without driving without our parents like we've now like taken public transport in kisumu you know it's always being driven around so we don't even know where we're supposed to go and this time my dad is back in the village so we're just like and this time we're pulling suitcases looking like three bougie barbie nairobian girls in kisumu <laughs> we can't even speak luo dude it was hectic so after that what happened what happened what happened what happened hmm what should i start with now we are standing there at national so we finally found the place after walking around kisumu for like an hour asking around like guys do you know how crazy that is i was just like what the actual hell we finally found the place and we found the taxis. But then when we get there, we're seeing there's so many people waiting because everyone is trying to get back to Nairobi, you know, before work starts, before second. And we're just like, what the hell? So we had to wait there for long. And then when a cab comes, you have to now like rush to go and like 
fill up the cab because now I think the cars are like seven seaters, so it takes seven people, and us guys were three, so we had to look for a cab that has three people. So now me and me and Ima are sitting on like taking care of our bags in a corner. I guess now going around hustling, talking to people around, asking like those like the organizers how to like get us into like a ride, guys. Let me tell you, I've never been in such a situa situation in my life. I was just so thankful that um, I was with my sisters into such an adventure. But yeah, so anyway, after that, we finally got one. And then since, I, th and it, and I just know there was like some dodgy way that we were getting those cabs. Like, I don't think it's like our legit thing. So we even, I remember even like getting the taxi, we had to like now walk behind to some kakona. It was just dodgy. Anyway, at least our driver was proper and then so it was me, me, my sister and Emma were sitting like, you know, in the back seat and then there were two people behind and one person at the front. And we just drove like that in Nairobi, guys. Imagine. We stopped, I think, only once in Akuru. And I remember that day there was so much traffic. But we just drove like that and we got to Nairobi at like, I think, 8 or 9 p.m. It was crazy. It was so crazy. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. And I am so excited because I'm going out with my mom and my sisters. Like you guys, do you guys get to go out with your mom and your sisters? Probably not. <laughs> so my mom is driving. Ima is at the front. Agi is not here because she has plans. Makita is here. And then me. And we are so dressed up. Actually, we are kind of late because we are doing our makeup. She was doing her makeup. Even you, Makita. Don't lie. <laughs> So we're just on our way to Karen Country Club. They have an amazing yes, a fireworks party and dinner. So that's where we're going and we're just so excited. This is our first fireworks party ever. So yeah. Yes. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Bye. So after that experience, we we'll just tell, we just told my dad this year, like, you're not putting us through the same thing. You are, you are not <laughs> putting us through the same thing. So we didn't go sharks. So I just spent the festive season in Nairobi. Yeah. So I've just been, literally, I've just been Netflix and chilling a lot. And just trying to sort out my life for this year. I'm so anxious about this year, guys. Like, oh my goodness. I don't even know what this year holds for me and I have a feeling like it's gonna be a challenging year because it's gonna be such a life-changing year for me um, career-wise financially like just in everything so my, my but my motto for the year is to just keep challenging myself to do better in everything oh this blue is so like it's popping what do you guys think this is a dark one anyway so Oh, and then I was watching. Oh my goodness, have you guys watched Surviving R. Kelly? If you haven't watched it, you guys, you need to watch it like ASAP. That thing is so messed up. 
so so messed up i watched it yesterday and to be honest i was so scared that i could barely like it took me so long to put the lights off because i was so scared like i didn't want to sleep with the lights off because i thought that eric, eric kelly would come and sexually molest me in my sleep that's how scared i was <laughs> That thing is hectic, you guys. Like, I just feel so sorry for those girls who are undergoing all of that. And, you know, I was talking, and then I just realized, like, by watching that thing, just the small, small things that these girls are talking about. No, I don't want to put this one yet. Ooh. I just realized that so many of us have actually probably experienced, like, some psychological manipulation from a man in our lifetime, honestly. And I just feel like a lot of us have probably dated a version of R. Kelly. Maybe not as extreme, obviously, but a version of him which is a very very scary thing to think about you guys can you imagine it's just so scary it's so so scary <sighs> but life you know life is like that okay, let me not say life is like that i hope things change i just hope i hope as all those girls who are still in his cult are rescued come to their senses and leave or just it's so sad it's just so so sad and the worst part is that he can't even be arrested because according to the law, those girls are doing it willingly. But psychologically and mentally, they don't have any free will. You know, like that Bandersnatch thing, if you guys have watched, what's this thing called? Black Mirror. None of us have free will at the end of the day. You know, society and the way life is just forces us to make some certain decisions for like, exam for example, like career-wise. Some of us might not want to be in a certain career, but we are forced into that career path because that pays your bills or you're forced into like um, a choice of study because that's what your parents want, you know. So even if we see that we have free will, do we actually have free will, guys? Hmm? Hmm? Point, point of reflection. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm doing with this eyeshadow. I'm just playing around and hoping that in the end it looks okay. yeah so what else my hopes for this year uh i told you guys i want, really want to challenge myself more um in just everything i want to take part in especially in my fashion in my fashion in my fashion label i want to do so much more like there's so many things i wanted to do last year but just being in school and not having a job and not having like, enough money to invest in it and also trying to get my degree i honestly didn't get to do so, um, all the things that I want to do but this year I really want to like go all out um, in my marketing in putting myself out there in collaborating with influencers in um, my sales and commercialization techniques in my packaging in my lip in everything I just want to challenge myself more yeah so you guys I'll probably like film another video uh maybe in a month time telling you guys how things are going because for now my life is still very unstable and i'm tr i'm still trying to plan the rest of the year so i'd want to like give you guys announcements and then things don't follow through but i'll definitely update you guys on how things are going very very soon um but yeah also i want to try i know like one thing that really scares me guys funny enough because i know i'm a blogger so I should, this thing should not be scaring me is like publicity publicity actually like scared like not really publicity like i don't mind um being on like tv or radio or like doing public speaking that much but what scares me is like being famous i'm just i'm like literally so terrified of being famous um but this year i really want to try not to become famous but to put myself more out there to get my like my name and my brand known you know through just various marketing techniques because that's how my business is gonna grow you know my design business so i'm gonna do it for my for my fashion label take part in most fashion weeks fashion shows all that stuff yeah so anyway i hope you guys are gonna be there with me throughout the year i want to finish my makeup off camera because I'm, I'm i'm kind of confused about what to do and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit <laughs> Okay, so I've done my eyes. I just put like some gold next to my the corner of my eyes. And yeah, I put eyeliner and mascara. And yeah, that's how it looks. I think I kind of like it. It's just so different. I'm trying to also challenge myself to be more daring with makeup this year. And wigs, as you can see, guys, my first wig ever. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me playing so much with my wig and taking so many photos. 
so now i'm just setting my makeup with this is it called setting i don't know but with this uh bobby brown matte powder yeah and then i'll be done my makeup routine is so short guys oh and then i'll put lipstick <laughs> and i'll be done also i wanna want another thing i wanna challenge myself in is doing more menswear looks menswear um like designs and it's usually the only reason i find doing menswear difficult is usually when i'm doing everything when i'm doing women's wear i can just like um you know sort of try it on myself so with a man i have to work with a model and i don't have like so many model friends who are always there for, like i don't i don't have any brothers first of all so i always have to like be working with a model who i know can like come and see me do fittings all of that so if you have any friends in cape town even in Nairobi who are interested in working with me as a model a uh, male model please let me know i would love to do like to try out so many like new men's and looks with them um yeah i think this look is done i think it's done i think it's done i hope i don't look like a ghost let me know what you got. Oh, what lipstick should i put let me see 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 oh yeah i'll use this one it's an action uber so yeah i don't know what color this is by the way oh it's color i don't know i think it's it just is six anyway Hmm. I don't know if this is too much. <laughs> Wait, I think that's enough. Hmm. And that is the final look. <laughs> yeah. you so much for watching this video let me know what other videos you want to see from me in 2019 what other content you'd like to see if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below your new year plans or hopes and dreams and goals tell me what you did during the festive season <laughs> anyway i'll see you guys next time bye